Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk about Peer OS. Yeah, Peer OS. What happened to it? Why is it gone? The guy announced that uh, somebody uh, he sold the project to somebody. But how can you sell Linux? I don't think you can sell Linux. Do you think you can sell Linux? I don't think so. You know what I think that happened? I think or Apple got pissed off because the thing looked too much like Apple. Because in fact it was Apple look and feels icons of Apple. But then again the thing I spoke to some uh, Linux uh, guys that know about Linux and they say you know the guy that created Pear OS Pear OS 8 Pear OS 8 was you can say Ubuntu uh, modified with teams you know and in fact if you know Linux uh, they told me then it's really easy to build a kind of operating system and then call it give it a name and say yeah I built I built it and it's my operating system but in fact uh, it's not because um, yeah you can build a, a operating system in Linux a Linux operating system from components and from scripts that are already there so I don't think he sold it I think he had to end his project because maybe you know he got a copyright complaint of Apple you know saying hey yo if you don't take the thing down then uh, we uh, you know we're gonna sue you but nevertheless uh, it's not there anymore so if we go looking for Pear OS you will see that um, if you hit download you will see that most sites removed it already and you will see that softpedia let me see which one was softpedia yeah you can see the softpedia still has it uh, you can download uh, all the versions here I don't know what MD5 is but these are the uh, the ISO files and I just got it as you can see um, I downloaded it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a bootable USB stick you know and how to do that well we do that with power ISO we'll need to uh, start power ISO with uh, administrator rights so that means right mouse click it and then you say here um, run as administrator let me see I have a stick here I'm not sure if the stick is good let's see what we have on this stick I think it's a Mac stick what is this yes continue without scanning let's see what this is uh, this is open elec so what we're gonna do we're gonna format this drive open elec formate si vous play yes format and let's see if power iso found it let's see if power iso found it tools create bootable USB drive it found it 4 gigabytes and we must go for the file now here is it and then we hit start yes and now we're gonna fix ourselves a little cup of tea or coffee and then when this process is finished I'll get back to you and then we will install this thing on uh, a Dell oops on this machine here a Dell what is it it's a Dell um, D830 it's a dual core machine so it should have enough power to run uh, this thing here so and then we're gonna use this camera 
to make the recording i will get a little tripod and put it and then we will install it on that machine welcome back um, i just created the stick and i just stick the stick in there so let's give her a power on and let's also hit f12 or so what was it for one time boot and i still have windows 7 on it let me see i think i should hit f10 here on top it should come somewhere f12 it was f12 so here we hit uh, usb storage device enter and um, <clears throat> this is the stick that we just created and you see uh, some some options here so we're gonna say um, start the installer directly well we're gonna boot up first I could not uh, do anything there yet I was too late it was already booting so we're gonna boot to the live desktop and then you will see how it looks it's amazing and uh, because it's connected to other surface for the for the software I think you can still use it eh? you can just get um, yeah your apps out of the same app store that's in it because it's connected to banks I think that have software yeah I could install XBMC just now I already started her up real fast to take a peek see if the stick was working so you know I could just uh, install something so what we're gonna do we're gonna install this to this laptop we're gonna wipe Windows 7 and uh, yeah let's see what's gonna happen yo this was by the way a real-time boot it's booting now straight from the USB stick you will see the stick is flashing If you see that the wheel stops turning don't worry because it will soon be there we just hit live session so sign in and you can see this uh, background is also kind of apple eh? this is kind of lion the lion background when you install lion um, mac os x lion so there we are Welcome to Pair OS, and you will see that uh, we will not update now because the thing is not installed. But these these are the icons I was talking about. You see, these are like the iOS 7 icons of uh, Apple. Well, kinda. Yeah, well, not kinda. Well, they uh, really look alike. And we're just gonna close this. We look here on top, we see that we have sound. So this was a real nice uh, yeah, boot up. We even have Wi-Fi. We can log into a Wi-Fi station. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna log into a Wi-Fi station. And then uh, where we did that, then, uh, remind me later, I'm gonna log in. Of course, uh, the first page will be the one that you can select the language and here you can see all the languages. I even saw Hebrew, so, uh, I saw uh, so many languages I don't even know man. We'll, good, we'll just go for English, I think that is really easy for myself as well. because. The Dutch uh, saying of things sometimes is a little bit hard for me to understand. Uh, for the best, blah blah has at least has at least download updates. 
that's why you see that's why I connected to the internet because we're gonna download well we're not gonna download updates because there are no updates I think uh, peer use as third-party software to flash yes so install the third-party software make sure you select that but don't select uh, updates because there will be no updates and if there are then <laughs> you will still be able to install them later so what I in fact gonna create of this laptop is a television player that will play me live television from the Netherlands okay so here you can see uh, what we can do we can install pair alongside Windows 7 you know but yeah let's do that let's just replace Windows 7 yeah for pair and grab the new Ubuntu installation for security you will choose a security key in the next step use LVM with the new Ubuntu installation this will set logical volume management it allows taking snapshots and easier partitions recite something else well I don't really know what I should take here I'm just gonna take uh, replace Windows 7 with pair okay we could also say install pair alongside Windows 7 but then again you know I think up you know I think a computer should run one operating system not two you know that is crazy and we have 160 gigabytes here for pair so that's what we're gonna do and we say install now so we're gonna install and um, you know the partitioning will go on and etc at, at the end a grub loader will be uh, created so the thing will boot and then you know uh, will be up and running up here we just choose our language I mean our city I'm in Amsterdam up here you can see that you can choose uh, different kinds of keyboards layouts I'll just go for English US you guys um, yeah you see here English Macintosh uh, English US with euro on five euro on five Um, yeah you know I don't really use that just international US blah de blah just leave it on what it was it's just good we could also detect the keyboard layout and up here I'm just gonna call this TV uh, 48 and uh, yeah and then I will give it a very simple password so that my friends can also use this thing they know my password log in automatically and then we just continue so the login name is tv48 don't forget so we're gonna install this and when this is done i'll get back to you so in fact you yeah you saw it it's it's still on the net and you can still install it and you can still do stuff with it and you know that goes also for Windows XP you know um, they abandoned Windows XP they say Windows XP is not good to do this or do that you know Windows XP is not good if you do banking on your computer you know and if you have some important sites and some important things that you're doing on your computer you know that while you're also on the internet you know you have docs online you're using you know um, these cloud services yeah you know then Windows XP is not so safe anymore but if you want to create a, a nice music player from an old Pentium 2 or Pentium 3 laptop that you still have lying around there you know you, sh you should still use your old Windows XP because Windows 7 won't run on that thing you know or if you have some old hardware you know and you're poor and you want to build uh, for instance uh, XBMC uh, station to receive uh, uh, and watch videos and listen to music etc you know you should do that with Windows XP so you know uh, deprecated doesn't mean that it doesn't uh, work anymore and that you cannot uh, do your stuff with it anymore it just depends you know uh, on what kind of hardware 
you're planning to use this thing it's all about the hardware you know I have old computers from 17 years old you know still able to run Windows XP 17 years old I mean like if you know that Windows XP has been there for 13 years and I say 17 years old then you know that this must be a laptop that probably run Windows 95 and that's correct you know there were Pentium 2's out there you know running Windows 95 way back in 1997 you know um, that were able to run Windows XP when XP came out way uh, later in 2001 so um, this all is very very interesting and it's all uh, up to you what you want to do and what you need to get uh, your thing running you know there are many many companies that don't want to uh, go to Windows 7 and are still on Windows XP because all their uh, belongings all their stuff the things that they create their work with the money they make money with uh, their stuff you know um, many inventing companies you know they just have a Windows XP desktop and you know that thing is running and uh, uh, directing complete uh, uh, factories you know computers that are you know being programmed and being monitored and being directed by Windows XP computers so make no mistake not because you hear in the news Windows XP you must change it real fast and this and that doesn't mean it's not good it's still very very good depending on what you're gonna do with it so that's my whole story um, I'm gonna let this install go and then we will reboot very soon as soon as this is finished and then we're gonna see a real-time boot of this little baby running Pair OS 8 still available for anyone to download okay my friends uh, well we're gonna restart now eh? it's done the installer is finished so we could install Windows 7 together with this thing I mean like we could install this along or aside, aside with Windows 7 we did not we decided to uh, to make it a uh, yeah a pair Linux computer you know so then we have something to do again if we want to put back the original OS on this uh, on this computer but I don't see no reason why I should do that so you know I mean it's like boring sitting behind two Windows 7 computers you know what I mean it's always good to have something else at the left side for your left brain you know it's for your brains man remove the stick otherwise you will get crazy man it's for your brains you know with your left side you're doing other things than with your right side so that's why you must always make sure you sit behind two computers one for your left brain and one for your right brain so you know the left brain does not get jealous on the right brain you understand good we're looking at the real-time boot people And the hard drive is making much nicer sounds eh, than with the uh, NTFS partition. I love the sounds that it's making now. It's not like, you know, it was like there was a little tick inside. So now we must log in. Oh yes, it will log us in automatically because we selected that. Remember? So there we are. We just hit next, 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 next. Thank you very much. Very beautiful and there is our beautiful black ground oh, oh. okay so let's go to the software center and let's get um, let's get our XBMC ah man go away language support nonsense it's English so 
repair updater is available you see that beautiful ain't it dun, dun, dun. I think it's still really cool that this thing works 106 updates available okay install the updates so we hit XBMC and here we have XBMC Media Center manage and view your date your media so let's install this baby it's gonna ask for a password that's the one that you created remember so and there we go and it's installing so when that is installed I'm gonna get back to you so you see the App Store works people okay and we're also checking if my YouTube uh, videos are playing here you go good morning YouTube today I want to talk about Pear Linux out of the box you know it's my previous video and now we can see that a hey, package operation failed shit why did it fail it's installed it's not failed it's a package operation failed let's see if it works uh, let's um, what is this quit oh, we go to launchpad and then we go to XPMC my friends XBMC not failed installed <laughs> Wow it's working there you go let's see if we can get add-ons for this baby okay do we can get more peeps when we hit add more we don't oh it's getting there you go Wow yo my friends from Netherlands kijk Jullie kunnen dit ook hier zo ophalen. Kijk, 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 kijk. Hier staat ook Nederland tussen. QRST. Uitzending gemist. Speech. Nederland, kijk. We just hit install. En dan is downloading. Amazing. Let's see what I can find more from my country. I do want YouTube, of course. And this is Frodo, so I have uh, repositories for this. Let me see if we can find Nederland 24. Kunnen vinden. Okay, YouTube is added. Al Jazeera is there, BBC, wait, let's go there back, I'm looking for some more Dutch stuff, Dumpert, Politiek 24, Oh boy, it's working. I have live TV. So nice. Everything works. Anyway, peeps, uh, my TV is working. It's all working just fine. So I want to thank you for watching. If you think this video was cool, hit it a like. Of course, subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I can watch my TV and. I'm happy and <laughs> yeah it's a nice little system now and you know 
I can uh, add the favorite repositories to it. Even can put, uh, yeah, no, yeah, all sorts of uh, uh, sources I can get into. Um, YouTube is also there, so that's really cool. So you know, um, here you can set the quality that you would like to see from YouTube, etc., etc. I just say it's okay. Explore YouTube. You know, it's all working. So, peeps, Pair OS 8, it's gone, but it's still there, and you can still use it. Till my next video. Bye.